Happy heads aren't up yet. Should we go wake up the kids or just let them sleep in? They have a long day ahead of them. They're going to be here for a while I think, this morning. Wait, there's something in the woods. There's something in the woods over there. What? Oh, it's a Ben. Good morning, Ben. Thought it was a Bigfoot. I got my hopes up. There you go. Come on, baby. There, we got it. We got it. Almost time for breakfast. What's for breakfast, man? Uh, corned beef hash into a sandwich with cheese on top. Nice. I've eaten two already, so <laughs> this is the last one from the can. Very nice. Actually, I want the vent up. There we go. Been helping Kevin with cooking stuff. What? Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Look at that. Oh no. Yeah, that's. Oh my god. <laughs> it's cooked all the way through. Nice. Not bad. Always leave wood for the next guy, right? It's pretty cool, this site. I've got this bench that you can cook on. They got a little shelf underneath. A little shelf underneath to keep the wood somewhat dry. All packed up and uh, ready, to, just about ready to get out of here. So it is. No, that can't be right. <laughs> is it really 11? Yeah, yeah. It's 11. We had a really easy, slow morning. Had breakfast, hung out around the fire. We're leaving Gilman campsite and we're on our way to Wilder Dam. There's a portage around it, it's about 400 yards, about two miles away. Ben's already cracked a beer, which makes sense, it's 11 o'clock. So I'm a little jealous, I should have grabbed one out of the cooler. But uh, yeah, beautiful morning, warm, a lot warmer than it was yesterday. And uh, yeah, we've got about 10 miles to go, so not too, too, too bad. Ben, how's that beer? Pretty good. Pretty gone. Mostly gone. Did you get another one out yet? Probably at the dam. Yeah, probably. The 
Oh, he's got his maple breakfast out. Start it off right. Very nice. You got anything, Andrew? I do. I have a flannel Friday. God, why don't you guys tell me? I'm the only one without a beer. <laughs> guys are a bunch of jerks. They're a bunch of jerks. I love them. See you in a minute. Just coming into view of Wilder Dam. Of course, just coming into view means it's still a good ways away, probably three quarters of a mile or so. So we'll be there in a minute. We'll be lugging our stuff across that portage pretty soon. Yeah. I hope we don't have to carry across the road or along the road, but it looks like we might have to. I've never really enjoyed walking along the roadway with cars whipping by me. Nice staircase up though. Here it is. Here we are. So, Ben is going to stay here with the gear. We're going to take one load over right now around the dam. Jason and Andrew are in front of me. It's like a 400 yard portage, so it's not too bad, but. We don't have wheels, so we're gonna do this in a couple loads. You make it look so easy. Oh. Yeah, I was a ways. Son of a gun. Well, let's go get the boat. I can't wait till this is over so I can have a beer. <laughs> you guys have had some and I haven't even had one yet. I think it was a mistake to finish it before the party. No. Yeah. Cool. Yay, it's over. Made it. Thank you. That doubles as a seat. Do you have the map on you? Or is it down there? Mm-hmm. Bald Eagle. I don't know if this little camera can pick it up. We just dove down the water and pulled something out of the water. It's probably one of your cliff bars. Could be. Swimming Could be. along. So many of these things. And we're off. Leaving Wilder Dam. Headed for Belknap Island campsite. It's about seven miles away, we figure. No more portages, so that's kind of nice. Very nice.
I don't hear any water movement, so I don't think there's any rapids. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, it opens up. Uh-oh, pit maneuver, pit maneuver! <laughs> so we're coming into the uh, city or town of White River Junction. A little bit more busy, got a couple bridges, highways. It is only quarter past one, so we're still making pretty good time. Probably got five, six more miles to go. Man, yeah, it's just beautiful weather. The glass, water is like glass. Very relaxing weekend on the river. A little stairwell right up. To yeah, old stairway up into town. We should have ordered pizza for lunch. Could have had it delivered right there. Yeah. Next trip. I think I'm about to add some scratches to my boat. How deep is it over there? Yeah, I got a little bit of water here. A little bit of fast water, nothing major. That's kind of cool. It's deep over here. I was doing the Allagash, one of the main guides. He was teaching me how to read the river. He always said, follow the current, follow the fast water if you can, as long as it's safe generally where the water is the deepest and it's true in this case Jason and Andrew ended up having to get out they got belly hung and had to line it so it's hard to do though you never you're never a hundred percent sure but that's part of the fun right we got a bald eagle up in this tree roosted in this tree unfortunately these little GoPros don't zoom very well Big boy. I'll try to get a little closer. See if I can get him. Hopefully he doesn't attack me. I'll show you he's up in the tree. See him up there. Right up in that oak. Those orange leaves up there. See him, he's right there. It's a big bird. Hello. Okay. He's keeping a close eye on me. See you later, symbol of America. All right, let's get the key.
so we've been having trouble finding Belknap Island campsite. According to the map, it's on the roadside. It's not on the island, but we came up here and we found a fire ring. It's really sandy point. So, yeah. The sign is back there. Oh, the sign is back there? Yeah. If you take this little footpath up here, it leads to a picnic table and the sign. And... Oh, perfect. But there's not a lot of space. No, it said it was for small sites, so small like groups. There's paths all over the island where you can maybe find a find spot. Okay, so this is home for the night. This is it. That's where we're having our fire, right there. Cool. So apparently, this is the path to Belknap campsite. Oh, here we go. Here we go, there's the mailbox. Here's the fire ring. We found it. The grill. Huh? Cool. Yeah, this isn't a bad spot. Here they come. Pull up a chair, guys. In this case, carry your chair over here. We had some nice folks come visit us and... I saw them come up in the boat. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Picking Kevin's brain about the trail. What'd they say? They're picking his brain about the trail, you know, the Paddler's yeah. Trail here. Oh, yeah. I told him a little bit about our Allagash trip we did and... Did you find that thing? Yeah, I figured we, maybe we could clean this up. Jason has a scrubby, I do too. Oh yeah? Yeah, that'd be a lot better to cook on tonight. We can do all the burgers on maybe this thing, bacon, way more stable. Maybe the bacon won't melt through. Maybe the bacon won't <laughs> melt through, yeah. Just gotta lean it across. Oh, it's got feet too? Yeah. That's kinda cool. Give it a little love. I can't, I can't see. Can you please? There we go. Superstar! Hollywood to the rescue. That wasn't nice. Where's Ben? Ben doing dishes again? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So put your, put your char cloth right on the top of that flint. So a little of these little fringes are kind of sticking out. See, it's really fragile, so you got to be careful with it. And then just, it, it'll catch pretty quick. We a couple sparks on it. There you go. There you go. Okay, no, let it let it build a little bit. And open this up real well. Set that in there. Just set this in the bundle. Give me this. Put the stone down. There you go. Now kind of wrap that around. Yep. And just let the wind. Okay, hold it up above your head so the heat rises. Plenty of this duff over it. Yeah, so the heat goes up into the duff. There you go. Keep this nice steady. Yeah, keep that heat up. Hopefully that grass is dry enough. I'll just cup it right around that. It's getting hot, isn't it? <coughs> there you go. Nice. Woohoo! First flint and steel fire. Nice. We're not out of the woods yet, though. I know, right? That was cool. Very cool, man. Awesome. Isn't that kind of fun? Yeah, that was neat. Right on, brother! I did it. Even did it on camera. Fireball time, Andrew. Okay. Yeah. You have some? I don't have fireball, no. Now I do. <laughs> That'll work. It's not mine, I don't care. Perfect. Take this grossness. Take this grossness. 
Nothing booster. better than whiskey That's around the That's an hire. Nalgene bottle? Yeah. What is in there? It's doctor. That's proper. Doctor and an Nalgene bottle. I ain't never you get seen it? that. Can you stuck? Yeah, I, I can get it. Perfect. That's neat. That's cool. Smell. Don't mistake that for water. It's going to be a hell of a surprise. I know, it looks like it, too. So it's a Nalgene bottle for for that very reason. Yeah, it's a flask. It's a flask now. That's neat. That is cool shit. I bet I could put some really fine moonshine in one of them things. <laughs> yes, you could. It looks like water, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Feel the bubbles. Yes. The flavor. Favorite part of camping. Right here. I'm going to overflow your cup. Yep. Night number two of burgers. Bacon cheeseburgers, yeah. by the way. That one's mine. Then you can have that piece. Frosty. Frosty morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Very uh, frosty out here. Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo. Hello. I don't think it's 50 degrees anymore. You know, I have a hunch that it's not. Yeah, it's just a guess. How'd everybody sleep? Pretty good. It was I actually, cold last night. Yeah, I actually slept better last night. Did you? I did. Is it still wicked frosty up in the woods? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely low, low 20s or high teens, I think, this morning. I love this though, this is beautiful. The fog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had kind of an exciting evening because the water level started to rise quite a bit, like by feet. <laughs> so, note to self, if you're ever camping below a dam, just be real careful that you put your tents high enough and be sure to bring your boats all the way up we, we were all kind of laughing about it that we were lucky that we brought our boats up away from the shoreline last night. Yeah, we were lucky. It sure. was close. <laughs> they must be generating power and they lifted, I mean, I know they let the dam out last night. Yeah, because we, oh, yeah. we gained what, a couple, three feet? Yeah, because the bank came up a couple, yeah, three feet. <laughs> yeah, that was exciting. <laughs> why, is it, why does it sound like moving water? What's that noise? <laughs> Thank God we brought the boat up. I know. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> it's so bad. You stand on this island with no boat. What's that noise? What, why does it sound like the water's rushing? Oh, I guess I'll go look. Where are the boats? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been terrible. <laughs> Andrew, you're swimming across. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the captain. <laughs> He's been shoving off from the island. 
Look out for those swirlies back there, man. Don't dump. Ooh. <laughs> He's in. Andrew and Jay about to shove off. Morning, Ben. Looking a little frosty over there. It's a little frosty. Cold morning, huh? Definitely need gloves this morning. It is a frosty one. Boat's all frozen up. Frost all over the place. We had to paddle pretty hard getting off that island. It was really turbulent water. Lots of little eddies and swirlies and stuff all over the place. So, you guys are just ahead of me. We have three miles to go today. Not very far. Kind of planned it that way. We've got a bit of a drive home. So, we should be there about an hour or so, I would guess. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this trip, guys. If you like this kind of stuff. Please like, share, and subscribe. You hear that from everybody, including me. My little channel is growing, but growing slowly, so any shares or likes or any of that helps me out a lot. So I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.